The UNI Panthers go 25 and 5 through the regular season and they capture their first Missouri Valley Conference regular season title since 2010. And coach, uh, just uh, one of those goals that you guys set at the beginning of the year. It's good to be able to check the box as you continue to move on. It is, and especially the, the way in which the guys got it done with you know, we knew the games at Loyola and Indiana State, both those games are going to be hard. Like, it didn't, didn't matter where they fell on the schedule uh, with the type of teams that they have and what they've done on their home courts. Those were going to be hard games. And the guys went in there and, you know, we competed hard. You know, we gave ourselves a chance in those two, but you come out of them and now you've got, you know, you know what's at stake. And, uh, and you've got two home games and then the in-state game at Drake and, and you've got to tighten it up. You know, if you, if you want to be outright champs, you've got to tighten it up. And the guys, you know, what a great week. You know, what a great response by the guys. What a great week. Saturday, your Panthers close the regular season with a 70-43 win in Des Moines uh, against in-state rival Drake. What did you see from your guys in that game that really set the tone early? Well, you know, defensively, it was it was as good a 40 minutes as we've had for for uh, for an entire game. And I, you know, our second half against Southern Illinois here at home the Sunday prior uh, was a terrific 20 minutes, maybe the best 20 minutes that we've played defensively. And and then I thought against Evansville, our offense was just good uh, all night, steady, just steady all night, and gave us a chance at the offensive end. And uh, and then we went down and we we defended well. I mean, that's uh, uh, we did a great job of of switching some things, a great job of guarding the basketball, did a good job of taking away, you know, a couple of the easy shots that Drake got here uh, from the three point line. Um, and then did a pretty good job of taking away some of the cuts and then we blocked them out pretty good. Just some some things that uh, that Drake was able to, to get done at our place in the first game. The guys went in and did a good job defensively. They did a good job of taking care of some stuff. Austin Fife had a couple of blocks defensively, but also big on the offensive end. Uh, game high 17 points for him, 18 rebounds, just a monster double double for him to close out the regular season. Yeah, and that's twice now in, in what about two weeks or so that he's had 18 rebounds and in, in uh, uh, you know in two of the different games and. You just don't see that. Right? I mean, it just uh, just doesn't happen where guys get, you know, you're getting close to 20 rebounds in a basketball game, and so to do it twice in the span of two weeks is, uh, he just, you know, we've talked about it some as we've gone through the year, Fred. Uh, he gets better, you know, every like 10 days. It seems like he gets a little bit better. You know, he gets in a little better shape. He gets a little bit stronger. He gets, he just keeps getting better here as we're going along, and and his play here in the last, you know, in the last two weeks have been terrific. Double figures from A.J. Green, Isaiah Brown, and Noah Carter uh, coming off the bench. It continues to be a number of different guys offensively that can score. Yeah, you know, and for and for this one with Drake, uh, you know, the, the two things, and A.J., his came a little bit later. You know, he had to, you know, they, they defended him different than they did in the first game. They came up with their five-man, made it really tough on him. So his came later, and they were important baskets in the second half. Noah obviously had a great stretch. You know, to play six, seven, eight minutes and get 11 points, make three, three like that, that opened the game up for us. And, but the key guy was uh, Zay. He was the key guy in that one because of the way they were going to guard us. And he came through big time. We'll have more with Coach Jacobson coming up. The Panthers down in St. Louis at the Missouri Valley Conference Tournament. We're recording this midweek before the Panthers head down. We'll be back with more Panther Sports Talk after this.